Hi there, my Leos. Thank you for tuning in to Star Lord is Tarot. I'm going to be doing a short read for you guys on the romantic front. This is a romantic love slash relationship reading for August the 7th for the energy surrounding the full moon, which will be taking place on August the 7th. Okay. So I went ahead and pulled the four cards for you guys. I'm going to turn them over and explain what's happening here. Okay, first off, you guys have the energies of the Knight of Wands in the upright position. And next you have the Two of Swords upright. And then you have the Five of Swords upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands in the upright position. Okay. Well, first off, we have the energies of the Knight of Wands, Leo. <laughs> okay, this is you. This represents you in the present uh, time, the present situation. Well, the Knight of Wands is a court card. Court card, and it's a fire sign, Leo, like yourself, or an Aries uh, um, Sagittarius. So, f some of you may be dealing with uh, someone of that sign. But most likely, it's your reading. It's your, uh, this card is representing you. And um, it's the Knight of Wands. This is kind of how you're feeling right now. You might be feeling like, um, for some of you, maybe you feel like you want to rush in. The Knight of Wands is a, uh, a hurry, a hurry person. <laughs> it's a person in a hurry, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. Um, this is someone rushing in wanting to uh, make an offer to somebody, a, a passionate offer. So for some of you, maybe you really feel strong, confident, and you're at your best, and you want to move towards somebody and uh, sort of sweep them off their feet. So this is really good energy, considering it's your energy, uh, Leo. You want to come in and uh, save the day. You want to... Uh, Go and grab your maiden <laughs> and, uh, you know, have a grand old time. You're really feeling confident and really feeling good. It is Leo season and the full moon in Aquarius is uh, taking place in Leo. So this is you shining, knight in shining armor, shining at your best. And you're feeling really good and confident moving forward. Maybe you have a specific person in mind and that's who you want to rush towards. But it's really, really good, sweet energy, Leo. Now, what you have crossing you, which could be uh, affecting you or blocking you with uh, your love life right now, is the Two of Swords in the upright position. This could be, uh, what's blocking you is maybe a need to um, make a decision about something. Now, it could be definitely maybe your... Uh, trying to make a decision about two different people maybe you're interested in two different people and if it's not representing that it could just be making a decision say to uh, you know actually take yourself off the market and um, and go into a couple situation as opposed to being single and uh, and, and dating about. Maybe you're trying to make a decision and maybe there is someone that you really really fancy and you really want to be with them but you're making, uh, trying to make a decision and that's what's blocking you. You don't really know which way to go. Maybe, maybe you want to uh, date several people. Maybe you want to just date one person. You're kind of on the fence and that's what could be causing the blockage. If you have a single-minded person, like a single person in mind that you want to go towards, that indecision could be blocking your way forward. Now, in the past, it could be if you're dealing with a situation, a romantic situation that you are involved with, or even just maybe an ex or something like that, you have the energies of the Five of Swords in the upright position. And this could still be affecting you. This, this is a card of conflict and, uh, and battle. And this battle can get quite nasty and other people can get involved in it and so forth. And it could be because this is the cards that sometimes represents the empty victory. So perhaps in a relationship, um, you did end up being victorious, whereas, you know, you told the person off or what have you, but you ended up losing the person or the relationship in the, um, in the situation. So it could be that uh, this uh, situation could still be affecting you right now 
and maybe you're a little bit reluctant maybe that's where the indecision is coming from because of the fact that you don't want to repeat the patterns of the past or it could be that um, somebody really really you know you had a really bad breakup with someone else and uh, this is uh, still affecting you it's just uh, those energies are still around and maybe that's why you're reluctant to perhaps get involved in a serious relationship right now and for those of you who say have had a breakup with someone and you're thinking about riding in and and swooping them off their feet well if you do that you could be still remembering the pain of the the past situation where the breakup happened and maybe you're still sort of um, ouching from that and you're still carrying those energies a little bit and that could definitely explain the two of swords being there and being hesitant to either re-enter a relationship where there was pain and conflict or whether to get involved in a new relationship because the potential for a relationship there's every time we enter into a relationship there's a potential for a breakup and so maybe that's why you're a little bit hesitant and you're making uh, finding it tough to make a decision but anyway your way forward is the um, six of wands in in the upright position which basically represents um, a victory and recognition so this is really encouraging nice way to end off and um, remember these are just energies that are around for the um, the the full moon so it's just going to be like the week before the weekend before the week after these are just en energies that are surrounding that full moon coming up but you do end up leaving in this situation as uh, as victorious so say in the situation where you're reuniting with someone from the past um, it looks like it's going to be uh, victorious for you uh, this is a card that re represents recognition and victory. So if it's a new relationship that you're after, uh, same applies. You will end up feeling very victorious. And if it's just a case of you decide to stay single and just date a few different people, either way, any way you slice it, you'll end up feeling that you made the right decision and that it, you're victorious. Beautiful way to end the reading. Really, really nice to see for you guys. I hope this resonated for you, Leo. And if it did, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. And until next time, you guys take good care. Okay, bye for now.